You can all see from the title and the thumbnail of this video that it's gonna be about how I'm coping with quarantine. <laughs> I'm not. It's day 54 of quarantine. I've lost track of how many days I've been in my pajamas. I've never been so bored, but had so many things to do at the same time. The birds outside are singing, but it's only 37 degrees. It's still 2020, but it feels like it's been years. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I think it's fair to say that quarantine sucks. <laughs> That's not the line. In all seriousness, I think quarantine is starting to get to everybody. However, comma, we're not gonna let it get the best of us. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys how I'm coping with quarantine and give you five tips that literally anybody can do to stay sane during self-isolation. Let's go. Some of you already know, I left most of the things that I like to do during my free time down at school. So my guitar, my ukulele, most of my crochet stuff, all of my painting supplies and canvases. So like, rip to my creativity, man. But that's okay because I have this list of things that I have come up with instead. And hopefully quarantine doesn't last much longer. But if it does, I'll have these things to rely on instead. So I know that there are like, tons of other videos on this topic right now. But in case you still don't have anything to do during quarantine, I'm gonna be sharing my list of five things that literally anybody can do to stay sane during self-isolation. So let's get into it. Going outside is a great way to de-stress and absorb some vitamin D. Plus, it gives you a chance to focus on other things than boredom and the things that are stressing you out. Even though it's still pretty much winter temperatures where I live, going outside can still be fun. Going outside is an option for pretty much anybody, so if you can while still observing the social distancing rules, you should totally give it a try. is a great way to de-stress, entertain yourself, and keep your mind sharp. So if you like making things, you can make your own playlist. Or if you prefer mooching things from other people like me, you can just listen to other people's playlists that they've already made and you don't have to do any work. Life hack. Personally, I use Spotify to listen to music, but if you don't have Spotify, you can use Apple Music or Pandora or an iPod or a Zoom or like a CD player or radio or a gramophone or a record player. If you don't have any of those things, you can always look up music playlists on YouTube. And if you don't have YouTube, how are you watching this video? So this is one of the hardest items on this list, but it's actually one of the most helpful as well. Although it's really tempting to stay in your sweatpants all day, and believe me, I do too, getting dressed makes the day feel normal and like pre-quarantine life. So I found that getting dressed at least once a week is good enough to keep me sane, but still allow me to lounge around in my comfy clothes. watching this video, that means you have access to a device where you can work on your resume. All it takes is some type of word processor, like a notes app on your phone, or Google Docs, or Microsoft Word, or something else. All of those are free. 
Making a list of your education, your work experience, and your accomplishments can really help you formulate a resume and might help you high school and college kids get a job this summer. Fact of the matter is, quarantine is hard. We all miss normal life, we all miss our friends, we all miss heck, even going to school. But one of the hardest things about being in quarantine is the constant self-evaluation. When you spend a lot of time by yourself without a lot of outside stimuli, you can tend to be more self-critical and you might notice more negative things about yourself than you might normally. It's really important, especially now, to take a step back, acknowledge how difficult the situation really is, and give yourself some time to breathe. No matter what you've been doing, what you've accomplished, or what you haven't accomplished, you're doing just fine. And you need to be gentle with your feelings and your emotions, and be gentle with yourself, you know? Don't be your own worst enemy. So that's how I'm coping with quarantine. I hope you'll give these a try too, and I hope they were helpful. If you have any quarantine coping tips that you'd like to share, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below, and I'm sure everybody else watching this video would also appreciate the advice. Bonus, one last way to deal with self-isolation is to reach out to your friends. So I will be leaving all of my social media links down in the description below. If you'd like to reach out to me, please do. I would love to hear from you. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Keep coping and I'll see you all next week. Just deleted my entire script. Oh no, come back. Oh my god. How do you make it undo? How do you make it undo? No, 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 no. Okay. on iPhone. How to recover deleted notes on iPhone and iPad. Open the notes app if you haven't done so already and tap the recently deleted. No, but I didn't delete it. I accidentally like typed over it. Oh my god. <sighs> ah. How to undo notes delete on the iPhone. All you have to do is give the iPhone a shake while the app is still open. The iPhone prompts you to undo the mistake. While well, the prompt button says undo typing, this button works for apps. Okay, that's what I did and nothing came up. Oh no, no. Maybe I was shaking it too much. Oh my God, undo. Give it another try. Redo. No, no. Undo. Redo. <gasps> it's gone forever. Oh my god! <gasps> it's right here! I was in the wrong one! That's so exciting. You guys don't even understand how scared I was. I just got so worked up about that. I thought, because, okay, here's a little secret. It's like 7 o'clock right now on Friday and I'm planning to film the rest of this tomorrow morning when the lighting is better. Although it's kind of golden hour right now, so maybe I'll do it now. Anyway, I've only filmed half this video right now and I need the script to film the rest of it. And I thought I just deleted the entire thing. Oh my God, that was scary. Let's never do that again, huh?